Peace. Peace to the gods, the earths, and the babies. Peace to the universal family, period. My name is Unique Lashim Allah Understanding. Lashim the God, they call me, you feel me? Um, today I just came to help educate and aid anybody who's dealing with the supreme alphabets. Today's video that I'm doing is on the supreme alphabets within the 5% nation lessons. Okay, so the first degree in the supreme alphabets is A, and A stands for Allah. Allah is God. It's symbolized with the acronym arm, leg, leg, arm, head, supreme head. You feel me? And that's Allah. Allah is the life giver and life taker, taking his rightful name as Allah. Okay, the second degree in the supreme alphabet is B. And B stands for be or born. B means to exist or your state of existence. And born means to bring into physical existence or mental and physical existence. You know what I mean? Just like a baby's being birthed into physical existence and it takes born months because born is symbolized with the number nine. So the second degree in the supreme alphabet is B or born. Okay, moving on. The third degree in the supreme alphabet is C or understand. C, because when you see things, not with your physical eyes, but with your mental eye, which is your third eye, it gives you the ability to comprehend things with a crystal clear, crystal clear clarity. So that's C. C stands for C or understanding. Okay, the next one, the fourth degree in the Supreme Alphabet is D. And D stands for divine. Divine is something that is sacred and pure. Okay, that can't be mixed, diluted, or tampered with because it's sacred and pure. That's divine. Moving on, the next one, fifth degree in the supreme alphabet is E. And E stands for equality. Equality is sharing. Equality is giving knowledge to people like I'm doing now, sharing this knowledge with you people. And just dealing with supreme equality, building your family and civilization, period. You know what I mean? So that's equality. And that's showing the best part of yourself. You feel me? So that's sharing. All right, moving on. Number six is F. And that stands for father. A father, if you break it down to a compound word, is F-A-T-H-E-R. Fat her. Because when you fatten her stomach, you become a father physically. And mentally, a father is one who teaches, like the father of law, Clarence 13X. Shout out to the father of law. Peace and blessings of law. Yo, you did great. Built this nation, the father of law, Clarence 13X Smith. Pudding, always putting y'all in your place, keeping y'all in a proper perspective, you feel me? So shout out to the father of law. Word is born to the father of law. Okay, the next one is G. The seventh letter in the alphabet is G and it symbolizes God. Seven is the mathematical terminology for the creator of the universe, who is a law, God. Like I told you before with the first one, it's arm, leg, leg, arm, supreme head. That's what makes you a supreme being, and that's God in the flesh. That's why we say God body, because God is the spiritual essence inside your body that guides everything. Okay, taking a break from that, my name is Unique. Lashim Allah understanding or Lashim the God. You know what I mean? And you'll subscribe to the channel, which is called Keep Low. Support the channel, Keep Low. I got the Keep Low shirts, Keep Low Power for y'all. You know what I mean? And just give support. Subscribe, like, and share the videos. Okay, moving on. Number eight letter in the alphabet is H. It stands for he or her. He 
and her have the power to build and destroy. And eight in the supreme mathematics is build and destroy. So he and her build and destroy. So that's number eight. Number nine in the supreme alphabet is I. The, the ninth letter in the alphabet is I. And that stands for Islam. The acronym of Islam is I self lord and master. I stimulate life and matter. I sincerely live out Allah's mathematics. That's Islam, a culture. It's our cultural way of living, our divine way of life. That's Islam, number nine. Okay, number 10 in the supreme alphabets. The 10th letter in the alphabet is J, and that stands for justice. Justice is one's reward or penalty for their acts and deeds. Symbolizing that, if you do something good, you get a reward. If you do something bad, you get a penalty. This is unique lashing to God, and that's justice, the 10th letter in the alphabet, J. Okay, the 11th letter in the alphabet is K. It stands for king of kingdom. A king is one who rules upon a throne of power, and he rules wisely and justly, and his kingdom is this universe or your home is your kingdom. You feel me? Okay, that's number 11, king or kingdom. Number 12 is love, hell, and right. Okay, love is the highest elevation of understanding. And to acquire this true love, you have to go through hell and come out right. And that is symbolized true love. Love is also the unification of man and woman in a physical sense because L is the 12th letter in the alphabet and one plus two makes three. So that's knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man, woman, and child. So the man and woman getting together make the children and that makes life divine. So that's love, hell, and right. Moving on, the 13th letter in the alphabet, supreme alphabet is M. And that stands for master. A master is the sole controller of all elements inside the circumference of 360 degrees, which is life. My name, Lashin, born six plus seven, that's 67. Six plus seven equals 13. So my name means master. So you gotta control your cipher and master your cipher. That's knowing the ledge so you won't fall off the edge. That's a true master. You feel me? Okay, moving on to number 14, which is now or N. The 14th letter in the alphabet is N, and it stands for now or N. You must do your things now, because the time will end. So you can't be procrastinating what you're doing. You got to get to your business. You handle your business and elevate for you and your universal family or your immediate family, whatever. Okay. Number 15th letter in the alphabet, supreme alphabet, is O. And that stands for cipher. A cipher is a 360 degree circle consisting of men, women, and children. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. A cipher is just a circle of life. Different ciphers, you go into different ciphers, different things you do within your life. So those are ciphers. Okay, the 16th letter in the supreme alphabet is P, and that stands for power. Power is the ability to increase your mental and physical endurance by doing something beneficial for yourself, by learning, studying, and also others around you, teaching. You feel me? So that's your power. And your power can't be abused because you abuse your power. That's misuse of power. And that'll lead to bad justice and bad karma. You feel me? Okay, moving on. The 17th letter in the alphabet is Q. And that stands for queen. And that's your woman. And this goes out to all your queens out there. A queen is one who knowledge is God. Because the first letter in the supreme alphabet I mean, the first numeral in the Supreme Alphabet is one, and that stands for knowledge. And the seventh in the Supreme Alphabet, seventh degree in the Supreme Alphabet is, is God. So a queen is one who knowledge is God. So when you acknowledge me as God, then you be my queen. You feel me? That, okay? And a queen is one who rules on the throne of power by the king. 
you know, sitting right beside the king. You feel me? Okay, so the 18th letter in the alphabet, supreme alphabet, is R. It stands for ruler, ruler. Now, remember I just told you, you're the king. So, you got to rule wisely and justly, and that makes you the ruler, ruler. Okay, the 19th letter in the alphabet is S, and that stands for self-savior. You must save yourself before you save others, right? So you have to have knowledge of yourself, get insight of your background and your 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 immediate self, and then your futuristic self, and then you can teach other people. You feel me? So you gotta have knowledge of yourself. You feel me? So you have to save yourself first. Okay. The twentieth letter in the supreme alphabet is T. And that stands for truth or swear. Okay. Truth is the ability to dominate over a lie. So anytime anybody tell a lie and I tell the truth, my word is going to be profound. So it's going to elevate above the lie and it's going to dominate the lie. So the truth is the ability to dominate over lies. So when you walk the universe and you speak in your mathematics and you're showing and proving that you live in proof of this truth, they can't, the truth can't be disputed. It's undisputed. The heavyweight champion, the truth. Yeah, this is La Shame to God. Subscribe to the channel. The channel is called Keep Low. Support the channel. I appreciate y'all. Peace to the gods, the earth, and the babies, and everybody who rock with Keep Low. Okay, moving on. The next one, 21st letter in the Supreme Alphabet is you, which is you are the universe. Everything that's within this universe is with inside you. So live that. You know what I mean? The universe and you is one. Once you get in tune with that, you elevate to a divine state, which is God. You feel me? Okay. The 22nd letter in the alphabet is V. And that stands for victory. Victory is when the black man overcomes all devilish men. So stop letting these devils manipulating y'all into certain situations, especially chasing this currency out here. Because when you be chasing that money, you get caught up in the matrix of that. And then you be the devil's slave. So just watch that. And that's your true victory. V, victory, peace. Us together, that's victory. You feel me? So the 23rd letter in the alphabet is W. And that stands for wisdom. Wisdom is the universal cleanser. Wisdom is the wise word spoken by a wise person. Wisdom is also the ways and actions of a wise person. That's wisdom. Wisdom is also symbolic to the black woman because she's secondary but most necessary. You heard me? Lashim the God, I'm in your hood. Holla at the God. Yo, check it. The 24th degree in the supreme alphabet is X. X, like Malcolm X, Clarence 13X. You know what I mean? That, X. You feel me? X is unknown. So being that the slave master took us and gave us his last name, we x that out. You feel me? And that made it. We, it was unknown to us what our last name was, so we all took the name of Allah, because Allah is God. And that's the spiritual essence with inside of you, so you God in the flesh. Okay, look, the 25th, 25th letter in the alphabet is Y. And Y stands for Y, W-H-Y. And why is a question asked by a wise man who wants to get wiser? Is why is also a question asked by those who don't know. You feel me? And then, last but not least, the 26th letter in the alphabet is Z, and it stands for zigzag zig. Those are the ways and axes of a snake moving like that. And you could take things from zigzag zig, just going bing 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 on dudes. You feel me? Like letting your universal, or they say the mind travels at the speed in which only the mind can detect. So if you tap in with the mind, which is the sole control of all elements inside the circumference of 360 degrees, which is a law. So once you tap into that mentally and you know that your mind controls your physical because mind controls matter. Matter consists of solid, liquid, and gas. So our physical composition is solid, liquid, and gas. The universe is solid, liquid, and gas. So once you intertwine both of these because you know the mind controls all that so it's all one and once you get in tune with that you guard and you can go from zigzag zig on dudes without being a snake 
Peace. This is Lashin the God, man. Yo, holla at me, man. Lashin the God. Get in tune. I love y'all brothers and sisters, man. Keep building. Never let nothing stop you. Don't let these devils get in your way. They're going to put potholes and obstacles in there. You're going to have the intelligence to elevate around that. Just study and keep building. And shout out to all the babies, man. And yo, I'm not going to tell y'all what to do. I'm just going to advise you as a wise advisor that I've been through the bumps and bruises, trials and tribulations, acquired scars throughout my life to learn this, to teach y'all. So that's my supreme equality. I'm sharing my love. Yo, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's called Keep Low Peace. This is Lashing the God. I'm gone. Peace.